Today I'm diving into something a little bit cheeky. You're playing GeoGuessr, dropped somewhere in the middle of nowhere and you have no idea where you are. But instead of sweating it out, you click a button, it sends some data off to a server and bam, an AI comes back with an answer in seconds. Cool, right? Now before you go thinking I've turned into the dark side, let me clear something up. This is all a bit of fun with coding plus a little bit of trolling for my coworkers for those social events. The project isn't about taking shortcuts, it's about learning and the tech behind it. In today's video, we'll be building an AI powered app that takes screenshots from games like GeoGuessr, analyzes them on a server and gives us the location prediction, all while showing us the exact location in a Chrome extension on a Google map. This is especially useful for people like me that cannot pinpoint where Point Nemo is. I do wonder if this tool will be able to beat Rainbow. I highly doubt that, but maybe someday we'll be able to test this out. Let's jump straight into the experiment and see how technology can change the course. I started off by designing the system. I chose JavaScript as I'm still a noob with Python. On one hand, we have a simple server that exposes an endpoint which accepts an image. Upon receiving the image, I will shoot out our request to OpenAI's API, then I will collect the response and send it over to the extension. There, a marker will be added on the map, exposing almost the exact location. On the other hand, we have a Chrome extension that will do the dirty work for us, meaning taking screenshots and sending them to the server. When designing a Chrome extension, first thing you want to do is have a manifest.json file. Now, the structure of this file depends on what kind of extension you want to build. For example, my extension will be a pop-up, meaning when you click the extension icon, you see a pop-up window which you can interact with. Choosing a pop-up presents certain challenges, such as needing to remember the last known position so that if you accidentally close the pop-up, next time you open it, it will retain the data, unlike using a side panel, for example. Let's do a quick overview of this manifest file. First, you have the version. This defines key aspects of your extension, such as permissions, background tasks, APIs, and more. The version you choose is important as it can impose impediments in your flow, for example, version 2 might be more widely used compared to version 3, but version 3 is more focused on security, as you'll see in our example. We will have some challenges to overcome with content security policies. Aside from that, version 3 has great focus on privacy. And besides, manifest version 2 will soon be killed by Google. Google has already started killing off extensions that use the old manifest, which is version 2. Next, you'll have your name and description along with some icons. Action is pretty important for us as we can define the HTML file that we want to associate with our pop-up, meaning when we click the extension, popup.html will be rendered. Next, we have the permissions where we seek out our active tab permission. There's a lot more options we can define here, but this is enough for our simple little extension. Let's make the first version of the extension. I briefly filled in popup.html file and loaded the extension by clicking on load unpacked in Chrome. Once loaded, we can make sure it's working correctly by clicking on the extension. All right, now for the fun part. The idea is to have Google Maps with a button underneath it. Once we click the button, we want to send off a screenshot from GeoGuessr to the server and retrieve the location. Once retrieved, we want to update the map with a given location so that we can cheat in our game. Next step is to create an API key for Google Maps. I'm gonna leave my restrictions to off, but please do take care and impose restrictions if you plan to use this in production environment so you won't get a 100k bill. Next, we need to add our Google Maps API. Following the documentation is pretty straightforward, but this, my friends, is where we hit our first issue. As if we observe, we'll notice that our map won't load in our extension. It does load perfectly fine when you run a standalone HTML page. We are hit with two problems. One is the inline scripts are prohibited, and second one is the content security policy issue. You might think that updating the content security policy in manifest.json will solve the issue, not with manifest version 3. We ran out of luck here. The only way we can have more relaxed content security policy rules using manifest version 3 is by creating a sandbox page. To do that, we need to update the manifest.json file by adding the content security policy and setting the sandbox property. After this, and after ensuring the script loads from a file instead of inline, our map loads just fine with the default marker in Australia. Now we're ready to build our API. After installation of our dependencies, we need two endpoints. One is interrogate. This one will be used to interrogate the screenshot and give us the location. And second one is get last location to send us the last known location. Decided to store this on the server, although storing this in our extension is the preferred way. The interrogate endpoint will call OpenAI with the model, which we specify. I found out that GPT-4.0 works good, although the drawback is, of course, the cost. In the content section, we ask this specific question and we upload the screenshot along with the text. Honestly, 9 out of 10, we will get a great response back. Now let's head back to our extension to handle our screenshots. First, we need to handle the click event on the button, call out the interrogate API, and send the message to the iframe with an action 
of update map and the return location. In our marker file, we have to do a couple of things. First, we need to initialize the map with the default location, which is somewhere in Australia. We'll make a quick call to our API and get the last known location. And if it exists, we'll update the marker. In our update map function, we'll get the results based on the address property where we add the country and we create a marker. Lastly, we need to handle the update map event fired from our parent page. And that's pretty much it. Now let's go and test this out. For my first test, I went with single player and space travel. I sent out a screenshot and on the right here, you can observe the server response and in our extensions, you can observe the map updates. It is Moscow. Easy, isn't it? Now I try churches. Same story here. We get back Reykjavik, Iceland. Then I try a couple of more locations and they all come back perfectly fine. But then I'm hit with this turbo mode where you have to guess a location in less than 10 seconds. Now I really struggled with this one as I realized that extension with the button might not be the best idea here as it's making me slower. I could probably cut down on this by having a side panel or just a click event in the extension itself and choosing a lower intensity model, which might work as in turbo mode, you do have a huge mile radius and you only need to pinpoint a general location. As you can see here, I did manage to get some locations, but not all as I was really, really struggling. I was really tempted to test this hack against an opponent and I didn't want to ruin someone else's experience, but I did it anyway. I'm sorry, my Polish friend. As you can see here, it is a walk in the park. The first country I guessed, I mean GPT, was the Netherlands and the second was Albania. In both instances, I was incredibly close to the exact location. With this tool, we can guarantee that we never lose GeoGuessr again.